Getty Donald Trump will announce his decision on whether to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal on May 12. President Trump is set to announce his final decision on whether or not the U.S. will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal by May 12, but the U.S. leader has repeatedly criticized it and referred to the accord as terrible, Mr. McFaul criticized President. Trump's expected decision to withdraw from the deal, saying, Russia will be fine with that because they will be on the side of the rest of the international community. We, the Trump administration in the United States, will look like the outliers, we will look like the non-cooperative ones and Russia will look like they're part of international law and cooperation. Yet High Emmanuel Macron has repeatedly warned President Trump against withdrawing from the deal. Russia will be fine with the U.S.'s withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal because they will be on the side of the rest. Of the international community Michael McFaul, it's not unlike what we did with the Paris Climate Change Accord, that we then become the outsiders of an international system that we helped to create. In a damning conclusion, he added, I don't think that serves America's national interests. The deal has widespread support from leaders across the world, who believe it has been essential in preventing Iran from developing nuclear weapons and increasing the threat of war in the Middle East. French President Emmanuel Macron has issued numerous warnings to President Trump and has urged the U.S. leader to remain a member of the accord. Commenting on the potential of a U.S. withdrawal, he said, that would mean opening Pandora's box, it could mean war. Speaking at the end of his state visit to the U.S., he added, my view, I don't know what your president will decide, is that he will get rid of this deal on his own, for domestic reasons. However, President Trump has criticized the deal, stating that it eases sanctions against Iran and helps to enrich the nation. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton also strongly oppose the deal. The stance is in line with Saudi Arabia and Israel, who view Iran as the central threat to the Middle East. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu noted that the deal was fatally flawed on weaponization, pointing to documents which he believes prove that Iran is still engaged in developing nuclear weapons. However Iran's President Hassan Rouhani slammed reports of the U.S. as expected imminent withdrawal from the deal, stating, If the United States leaves the nuclear agreement, you will soon see that they will regret it like never before in history. Trump must know that our people are united. The Zionist regime, Israel, must know that our people are united. Scrapping the deal would see the U.S. reintroducing sanctions against Iran, but Iran could then resume its nuclear program which would increase the threat of war against the U.S., Israel and Saudi Arabia.